I recently received a new Mod T 3D printer that I ordered more than a year ago as part of a crowdfunding campaign. The printer was very easy to set up and the first test print of the New Matter logo printed without incident. This video shows my second print. It's the first design I downloaded from store.newmatter.com. I browsed through most of the initial store offerings and selected this mobile phone stand. I'll document the builds of several upcoming projects and most of them will use time-lapse photography but for this one I thought it best to show some of the tasks in real time so you can see the actual printing process. When I chose to print it from the web page the design was placed in a print queue and then downloaded to my printer via Wi-Fi. All I needed to do then was press the flashing button on the front of the printer to begin. Because of the clever design of this printer, there's no need to fuss with or manually calibrate the print bed. The printer does its own calibration before beginning each print. I'll grant you that watching a printer calibrate, or watching any printer print for that matter, is not particularly exciting. But this might be useful for new Mod T owners or for those considering a 3D printer purchase. During this time, the hot end is heating up, getting ready for printing. I've loaded the pink 1.75 millimeter PLA filament that shipped with the printer. As part of the calibration process, the bed is moved to each corner of the printer. Later it spends two or three minutes moving the bed back and forth as it gradually lowers the head until it senses the bed. When the calibration is complete, the head moves to the right side of the bed and a little filament is extruded, just to get the filament flowing. This procedure is aptly called wiping the nose. Then the bed moves back to the print area and printing begins. Normally the clear plastic covering closes the entire printer and that helps to keep the print area warm and clean but I've removed it to eliminate reflections during the video recording. This print took about two hours, but I'll show just a few minutes of the printing at various points of the build so you can see how the project progresses. So sit back, relax, and watch the printer at work, and I'll speak up again when it's time to remove the print from the bed.
When the printing is complete, the print surface is removed from the bed and it's flexed to release the print. Then after a little cleanup of some extra strands, it's time to see how the stand works with a phone. Considering that this print was made the very same evening that the printer arrived, I was pretty impressed at how easy it was and with the quality of the result.